I don't think so, Judy. I think it's just uh, just me, just in case anyone pops on. Um, I can barely hear you. Hold on. Yeah, I, I, I don't see any public. Yeah, I can barely hear you, sure. You, anyway, it's, it just appears to be just me. So uh, I'll, oh, I'll be just here just in, uh, just in case anyone pops on, I'll be here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I can barely hear you, so. I don't know if it's the speaker here or... It's the owl. Yeah, the owl is on. No, it's not. You're right. Oh, how do we, John? How do we put the owl on? Um. Oh no! You I think you have to select the camera. Is the owl plugged in? No, I'm on oh, the. This is down. Yeah. So this looks like. Oh. So it, you would click on your video. You would, <laughs> do what? You, you would click on on your video options, the 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 video camera in the lower left hand of your screen. Click on the video in the lower left hand. There you go. All right. That's if there's speech. a camera, if there's a camera option. No. Oh, I think this car strip is not. Okay, try to tell me. I mean, at, at this point, on, success. can you hear me out? I can hear you, yeah. He's still low. But it uh, ultimately, Judy, there's there's nobody online. Okay, we won't worry about it then. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shoot. I just clicked myself out. Okay. Well, there you go. Now click yourself, now click yourself back in. Let's start chatting. No, that's not what you want to do. Just close that. Out of that. Yeah, just exit on that. Okay. I think we're still there. Anyway. Okay. Um, meeting call to order at 704. I'm going to change that clock. Okay. Roll call of members Angie DeSanto. She said she wasn't going to be here. John Kopech. Here. Paul Varga. Here. Christina Davis. Here. Jesse Burnham. Well, that's why I want to be able to hear Jesse. Garth Bean. Esther Jagosinski. And Hugh McKenzie. Okay, and myself. So we have a quorum. Um, I'm going to see Christina Davis for Angie the Santos. You might want to back me up, John. Oh, Hello, everyone. This is Jesse. I just joined. Hi, Jesse. Okay, we just called the call to order and we're seating people, so you're right on time. Okay, so Jesse is seated. Um, communications. I sent you guys some information on um, the ECS for 2024. Um, they were concerned that it might change this year for us. It's not. Um, they said it's harmless. It's a harmless provision and they voted on it. So as far as I know, there's no changes that will affect Ashford until I hear anything different. But. I forwarded that to you guys and the change um, for the adopted 2024 state budget municipal aid. Okay. 
Oh, um, I will get to, we'll get to Jesse with this up later. Public comments? Anybody? Comments? Okay, approved minutes of regular meeting for Thursday, May 11th, 2023. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion, Christina. Christina, motion. I'll second it. I'm pretty sure I was there. I'll second. Any discussion? Everybody good? I was trying to find the copy I had and I can't find it, so I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's online. It's on. Okay. See? Okay. Jesse, did you have anything you wanted to say about the minutes? For, um, um, honestly, I didn't even uh, see them. I didn't see an email with them coming out. Okay. They're online. So I guess all, all those in favor? Aye. 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 John, are you aye or no? I wasn't there. Yeah. I'll abstain. Okay, John abstains. Jesse, do you wanna um vote on that or do you wanna um abstain and we'll do it the next meeting, I guess. When you get a chance to look at it. Are you still there? Jesse? Think you lost them. Okay, well, I'm gonna vote aye, so <clears throat> we'll have three in favor and then one abstain with John because we lost Jess. Motion passes. Um, new business selectments update. He's not here. And then the ECS update. I spoke a little bit about that before. You guys have that information. We're not expecting any changes for Ashford that are um, harmful. And since I lost Jesse, um, I'm here. I'm back. I had a, a phone call for work. Oh, okay. So you came back at a good time because we're we're going to talk about the annual report. Sure. Um. So if you if you want to speak to what you have, what you don't have, you know, if you need help. All right. So I uh, tallied it all up and I sent a. Uh, um, an email to everyone so you would have the same information I have, but um, I'm just trying to, I think it's 11. I sent the email up, but then I uh, closed it off my phone. So let me just pull it back up so that I have it. So I have 11 reports were sent in to me out of the total of 26. So it's about half of all reports have come in. Okay, I'll reach out again. At least we got something this time, right? Yep, exactly. I'll reach out to um, uh, Bill and Sherry. So at this point in time, it's just reaching out and trying to get the report sent in. Um, I'll uh, I'll get mine and the fire marshals to you this week, Jesse. I All right. Was, they, they they should have been attached to our budget, but my guess is is that things got lost in the trans transition between treasurers. Okay. Um, so I'll get that taken care of. I'll hunt it down. And likewise, our own board of finance annual reports missing too. 
Bars? Yes, ours. Okay. Yeah, some I I I, I don't want to point fingers, but I do think that there may be a like I said, a lost in transition thing going on because when I send my budget requests, I sent the annual report. So yeah, I thought we sent our, I thought but, I sent ours. I thought I saw ours too. Real early. So it's okay. We'll figure it out. I'll see where it is. I'll just it down. That's okay. not a very good uh, good example. Is it? <laughs> All right. Almost. Uh, let me see if there's anybody else like who's on my can twist. <laughs> oh, that's it. Um. Oh, so I want to go back to. Oh, I'm going to do this. I want to go back to communications and. Um, just have a slight discussion on last year's um, way that we scheduled the referendum. Okay. Go. So, I don't know if that would be communications or public comments, but it's really not a, um, it's just for discussion. It's not really a, a motion or anything. But just to get feedback, how everybody felt about the way we did it. Because um, the, the way it was scheduled kind of put us all in a bad predicament for uh, not having all the numbers, especially when it came to insurance. Yeah, and I, I think that that's going to be a problem always. Unless we don't do it at the same day. Yeah, but I, I still don't think that's going to fix the problem with not having some of those numbers because I just got my actual insurance numbers. Just now? Yeah. Because okay. see, my insurance, like for instance, in the fire department, the insurance renews in July. So we don't get those numbers till like the end of May or early June. So the best that I can do is go to the agent and say, what are we possibly looking at? And I mean, you know, we sit down and say, where, where are we at? What do what I think it's going to be? And we, and we use a number that probably, I think it's actually, I think we were right on, but um, but that's going to be a problem for a lot of departments because it depends on where their insurance comes from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're kind of unique. We got to find out um, exactly where we're standing as far as um, we were told 20%. But then I was told like 15%. So we have right. to find out what exactly, I mean, because that's a, a pretty good number. Yeah. And that was for the town and the school. So, but there's a lot, and it's not just insurance either. Like, there's a lot of things. I, I will say that a lot of places now, vendors, I should say, have done better because they understand that most towns are are on the fiscal year, July 1 fiscal year, so their budgets are due in, in you know, April, May time frame. So they're getting better about getting that information. But when you have things like a, a July renewal or uh, an April renewal, it, it's pretty difficult. Hmm. Some of them aren't, like insurance is a weird one too because of so market fluctuating. Where the other vendors, like our dispatch vendor, they know what they have a projection of what they're going to do, so they can tell you a pretty accurate number. And doesn't the number change, like if an employee leaves? Correct. Well, from remember, the town hall or from the school in right. July. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that right. person happened to have five kids, and they were all on the plan. Right. That's going to have a big impact, and that's not something that any selectman or, or superintendent can control for. So it is, at the end of the day, that's why it's technically an estimate. It's a yeah. budget estimate. It's not a... So, yeah, but we estimated pretty high for, you know... Yeah, it's... You're, it's kind but of, we didn't have a choice because we were in the, you know... Yeah, well, it's a, it's a big catch-22 because in cases like that, if you remember, like, we asked a lot of questions of the superintendent about the health insurance specifically, 
because that seemed like it was a very large increase. But then when they explained it and and why why it's the town and the school's insurance was going up so much or possibly going up so much. Um, to Christina's point, if two of those people leave mm -hmm. and they get two different people who are don't have any kids or whatever, that it, it has a large impact on it. And we're a small town comparatively, so a small change has a big impact versus where you have a much larger town where two people leaving or coming and going has like a minimal impact. Mm -hmm. just, you know, I don't. I, it just seems like we could be more we. If we could get the numbers sooner instead of relying on a, a you know certain date, like if, if we could get the numbers that were more accurate, um, because I don't ever remember going through it like this ever. I remember that the insurance is always the one that always everybody. It's a like, guesstimate, but not that high. Right. Yeah. That was really a high. Um, I think there's been a lot of insurance over the last what. Six years with with the uh, I always call it Obamacare, but whatever the, the insurance network thing has created a lot of fluctuations that the industry itself is still trying to deal with. Mm -hmm. um, but are they on that plan? Yeah. No, they're it's not. But that has an impact on it. it, it, it you know that that's why like having it, it sounds silly but if one person gets sick it has an enormous impact on everybody mm -hmm. i understand that we all have insurance so. yeah it's a, you, i don't know i mean the only the only thing i would say is that maybe we need to start sooner with talking to the different departments if we have questions um so that we're not asking them to make adjustments at the last minute yeah, well, I mean, part of it is getting all the information too, right. and that was lax, you know, right. except for the school. The school was like right on. I mean, they submitted their information early, um, except for the insurance portion. But well, they it submitted it, but it changed. I mean, that's and to their credit, they they came forward with it. Um, I don't know. I, I I mean, my I submitted my budget. I can't talk about anybody else's because I don't receive them. So. And then, if you separate the two referendums, right? That's what you're saying. Is yeah. Separate the, the town, and the, school, and Region 19. Yeah, you're dealing with the cost, and you're also dealing with the possibility that because the turnout would be so much lower. Oh, let's turn split out. it. Turn we out. used to do it all well, pathetic this time, but it would be even more pathetic right. if you split it. We used to do it all the time that way, though. Yeah. It, it was it was never trying to get it on the same day. And the three grand versus what we um, bought we were going to pay is peanuts. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I, I mean, I would rather not spend the three grand because if the insurance goes up three grand, then we just burn it for no reason. Yeah. If there's a legitimate reason that something happens where we can't get an accurate or even close to accurate number, or there's information substantially missing, or for instance, a few years ago where the state was dragging their feet with their budget, which by the way, they still finally might have passed it. I don't know. If it's mm -hmm. Um so that that's another thing too is that we're always waiting to see what the state does. Always waiting mm -hmm. to see what the state does. Well, you see with the ECS, right. we just got the information right. now. But um, yeah, I would like to know. That's a super. I would like to know what the difference is, what we <laughs> assumed we were going to pay versus what we're actually paying, and then you see what that is compared to, <clears throat> you know, spending three grand on a different referendum day. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I like doing it as one big rent, one thing because I think the turnout's already dismal. No, so yeah. I agree with, with yeah. Christine. Yeah, I think it's going to be even worse. But I mean, at the same time, we can't think about turnout and everything. We have to think about the taxpayer. That's what it boils down well, to. Well, uh, you know what, though? I'll be honest. Um, we give them every opportunity to come to the meeting and to go vote. And so that is the turnout is the taxpayer, right? If they don't 
take the time to vote because I don't think it's that important. I just worry, I don't really care whether people vote or not, it's their choice. It's just once you get into really low turnout, you run the risk of a referendum failing just because people, you know, if you only have a small number of people, it can yeah, it go shift there. real quick. And then you run the risk of it being voted down, and then you have to go back again. And you know, that's well, that's my concern with, with splitting it up. You yeah, run the risk of failing. Point. It's a valid point. But like I said, I think we need <clears throat> numbers to see what the difference is. Um, you know, if we want to be responsible. I mean, I felt bad that we didn't have all the information. And I don't know, John. Thank you. So I'm curious what the dollar amount is going to equate to on that 5% savings. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, if we have a separate referendum and it costs us an extra three grand, but then we get those numbers and it's, you know, a hundred thousand dollars difference well, or something like that, 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 that that's is, one thing. Right. If we don't do it that way, then I don't think that money should go into the 1% fund. I don't think you can control that. Yeah, oh, absolutely, we can. We don't have to put anything into that fund. Yeah, oh, what we authorize. Right, right. So what I'm saying is, if we're going to take that option, we don't feel like waiting for that number. But if it's a huge, massive number, that money is going back to reduce next year's tax burden because we overtax right. the citizens right. instead of having the referendum right. second. Right. So in that scenario, that money is not eligible above a threshold to go into that fund mm -hmm. because that's not really the spirit of the fund at that point. Correct. That mm -hmm. would be my only thought. That's, a very, that's accurate. That's actually extremely accurate. Yeah. The, and the other part of that too is that, and this is something we, we wrestle with every year, is the whole minimum damn the art. Yeah. Right? Right. Because then, then every time that happens, like, we keep sliding that NBR up and then. Yeah, let's see. You, I agree with that. I think that's a great idea, but it's also the towns. You know, I mean, if you're going to do it to the school, you have to do it for the town. So it's got to be equal. It's not going to be a. Well, but the town doesn't have a 1% fund and the town doesn't have an NBR. But there's other methods we can use probably for the town. You can't just say that, you know. <laughs> Be the school. It's it would be up to the board of finance to make sure that the town doesn't then take that surplus and spend it. Exactly. Right. We don't give them permission. That's to what that. I'm saying. There's we right. say no. That money is held and put towards next year's taxes because right. we over collected. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we we would that would be the other method. We would control that part of it. Right. 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 So. But that's like like John said. The, the town has to come to us if they're going to spend if they need more funding for anything over X amount anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's how you would control it. Right. Because yeah. well, they're the same insurance package, too. They just share the package. Right. Right. So the numbers should be the same. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can get for numbers. I'll get in touch with Sherry and see what we had um, planned for versus what we actually are going to pay. And see if I can reach out to the school to see what they have happening. Before we do anything, but it's just a discussion for now. Okay, agenda for the next meeting. So for the next meeting, we still have to keep on the annual reports. Um, like I said, I'll reach out for the insurance information. And this, um, uh -oh. for some reason, I'm thinking that maybe it was Kara. I'm just thinking that we we reached out to either the tax. Let me see if I can find anything. Can we go back to last year? Yeah. Um, 
So this one would be next uh, week, and then we don't have them right now. June. Yeah. Uh, in June, the first meeting in June last year, Kara gave a presentation regarding the grand list, but that's because we had a reval too, I think. Okay. There let me see, and then this next second meeting of June. Apparently that discussion for the assessment was moved to the second meeting in June. Uh, I have something waiting for you. Oh, and then, then that, that was uh, Linda had the thing about the Cadillac property. So that's what you were okay, for. That's what so which no longer Applies because the town now won't do it. So, um, so do we want to invite those guys in to talk about any of them? You okay. could reach out to them and ask them if there's anything they want to talk to you about. It's kind of like a, I'm I'm tossed because I really don't I don't want to bother Linda because it's like she's well it's that sorry, right right right. But then maybe you could just say, hey, you know, we noticed that last year in June, um, we had some stuff that is there anything that you need to, to present us before July? Um, if she says she's good, then done. So all she really uh, needed was what we did the last meeting with the new. Yeah, she really the no way it's the acceptance for the mill right now. Mm -hmm. See so, July of last year, real quick. I have something waiting for me in the um from the auditors that I haven't had a chance to stop by and um, pick up yet. I don't know if it's a bill or um we have to renew them. I don't think it's time for the renewal, but I'll check on that. Anybody else have anything they want to discuss the next meeting? Interest or reach out to somebody? It's kind of the quiet time. It's a good time. I know. Yeah, we'll stop <laughs> so the next meeting is June 22nd? Um, I think so. It is... Yes, should be um... Yes, that's what I have on my calendar. Mm -hmm. So it's two, yeah, I think they only do two months. I mean, two. Two, months yeah, ago. second and fourth, but I don't know. I'm just looking at my calendar. I don't know if I'll be available for that one. The Which 22nd. One? The 22nd. It's awesome. All right. Well, if anybody comes up with anything in between um, that you'd like more information about, or I don't want to discuss why it's quiet, um, now's the time to do it. Let me know, and we'll put it on the we'll put it on the agenda for the twenty second. Okay. Um, okay. We might Head of the board, thank you guys for coming. I know it's summertime and nobody really wants to hang out, <laughs> but <laughs> thanks for coming from Paris. <laughs> um, we still not, we still not on the phone from Paris. <laughs> exactly, right? And uh, okay, we'll call it for adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Well, for a second. I'll second. I'll second. Oh, Jesse. I thought I'd be Jesse. Jesse.
Well, Jesse, do it. Yeah. Okay, Jesse, second. Jesse's got to speed up on the truck. Aye. 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 Thanks, Jess. Have a good night, Jesse. Be safe. Take care.